Okay, so when you talk about the rights naman, um, in section of the rights, okay, talks about mainly anong pwede natin gawin as nurses. Okay, anong, anong mga, yeah, mga rights na meron tayo in general as nurses. Okay, isa dun sa mga rights talaga na pwede, uh, that are specified and supported by the state or by the government is the ability to form ginatawag natin unions. Okay, unions and organizations. Okay, lalagay ko na lang dito orgs or organizations. Ano ba yung mga unions, guys? Okay, but I would like to clarify, especially doon sa mga nagtatanong, is that yung unions and organizations are not needed, okay? They are not needed for employment, okay? So, ano ang ibig sabihin yan? Okay, like for example, may um, group of nurses na gumawa ng union, tawagin natin Manila, Nurses Association or let's say Manila C uh, Manila Nurses Union okay Nurses Association okay gumawa sila ng Manila Nurses Association at maraming mga nurses na sumali dito galing sa Manila now hindi pwedeng sabihin ng Manila Nurses Association na uh, uh, kailangan mo mag-register sa union namin in order to work within the within the uh, confines of Manila so hindi niya pwedeng gawin yun. So, it is not needed for employment. So, again, unions and organizations, the registration to unions and organizations are not needed for employment. Another right that nurses need to, uh, to remember is the right to engage in concerted, specifically stated by the law. Remember, remember, okay? Concerted activities. When you talk about concerted activities, what do you mean by concert? Okay? When you talk about a concert, okay, it is an organized event, okay? Okay, concert at Taylor Swift, concert ng, ano, ng Blackpink yan, mga organized events yan, okay? So, example ng mga organized events is strikes, okay? Ano pa, ano pa, forums, tsaka dialogues, okay? Okay, so again, organized events, strikes, forums, at dialogue, dialogues provided, okay guys, provided that these strikes, these forums, or dialogue does not trample, the rights of the basic or, or the rights of the patient or the basic human rights. Again, they can perform concerted activities like organized events like strikes, forums, dialogues as long as they do not trample the basic rights of the, the individual. Yan yung yung caveat na men we mentioned sa loon natin. Okay, so anong benefits na sinabi ng law natin. Anong sinabi, anong mga benefits that are included within the Magna Carta? Okay? Within the Magna Carta, there is what you call the retirement benefits. Benefits. No pa. Yung compensation. Okay? Compensation for injuries. Okay? Ano pa? Yung legal benefits. Okay. At saka, may isa pa dun. Okay? May isa pang, and this is something that I would also like to highlight. What is the difference between, okay, nung uh, gusto kong i-highlight to kasi uh, parang ayod nursing topic to. What is the difference really about longevity? Sorry. Okay, what do you mean by longevity? Versus, okay, versus your uh, security of tenure. Okay. When you talk about longevity, okay, longevity pay, the longevity pay, okay, the longevity pay, guys, remember, remember that this is a reward, okay? This is a reward given to an employee, okay? This is given to an employee, okay? Now, specifically in the Magna Carta, if the employee exceeds or um, tumapak na siya sa five years of experience, of continuous experience, continuous experience. Pwede siya or entitled siya for 5% okay? of monthly basic pay. Of the monthly basic pay. Okay? Remember, remember that. Kasi ika-calculate natin yan mamaya. Okay, how about the security of tenure? Ano yung sabihin naman? Security of tenure, sir. When you talk about the security of tenure naman, this is, okay, when you talk about longevity pay, this is a reward. Ang security of tenure, guys, the security of tenure is protection. Okay? Anong klaseng protection ang, ang ginagawa niya sa mga employees? This protection against unjust, okay, dismissal. 
Okay? Again, this is a protection against unjust dismissal. Na ibig sabihin niyan yung pina, pinatanggal ka sa trabaho ng walang karapatang walang karapatang proseso or hindi makatarong ng proseso yung pagtanggal mo sa trabaho. Okay? So yan yung pinoprotektahan ng security of tenure. So according to the security of tenure guys, you are awarded if proven if proven na unjustly dismissed ka, you are awarded reinstatement. What do you mean by reinstatement? Kailangan ibalik ka sa trabaho or sa posisyon kung saan ka tinanggal. Okay? And you will be awarded with 12% of interest. Okay? From the time the compensation was withheld. So, so ang ibig sabihin yan, say for example, uh, nasiba ka with a noong May 2023. Okay? Siba ka noong May 2023. So, meaning yan, magsa-start yung calculation o yung pagbilang sa interest mo sa month ng May 2023. So, again, so ang calculation na yan, uh, you just cannot guess natin yan mamaya. But you just have to remember that you... Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, let's have an example. Okay, Maria is a dedicated nurse that has been serving in a public hospital for 15 years. Okay, her monthly basic pay is 25,000 pesos and she has been continuously and efficiently providing her services since the approval of the Magna Carta. So calculate uh, Maria's longevity pay. So ang question po natin dito ay longevity. Okay, again, ano nga yung factors natin sa longevity pay if the person or the individual has 5 years. Okay, 5 years of continuous service. Okay. Five years of continuous service. Now, in this case po, 15 years po yung nakalagay sa given natin. Okay? So, 15 years. Okay, ilang five years po yung nasa 15 years. So, next is kailangan po, uh, next is kailangan lang po natin kunin yung basic pay, monthly basic pay ni Maria, okay, which is 25,000 pesos, and multiply it by the factor, which is ilan yung factor natin, and you still memorize, it is 0. Point, okay, again, 0. 0.05, okay, or 5%. Okay, now, you multiply, okay, 1,000, okay, you will get 1,250, okay? So, 1,250. Ano, ano po yung thought process ng calculation natin dito? Okay, since there are three, Five years in 15 years. So in the first five years ni Maria, Maria will have, uh, since Maria's basic pay, assuming that Maria's basic pay is constant, okay, assuming na hindi nag, uh, nagtataas yung basic pay ni Maria, Maria, okay, the first five year, okay, the first five year, Maria will have, okay, 1,025 plus, okay, 1,000, okay, 25. 25k plus 1,250. Now, in the second year, meaning yan, 10 years na, si Maria, Maria will have 25,000 plus, plus 25, uh, 1,250 uh, plus another 1,250. Okay? So, in the third year, which is the 15th year, okay? So, Maria will have 25,000 plus 1,250, plus 1,250, plus 1,250. So calculate natin within, if Maria has been rendering a work for 15 years, ilan yung total earnings ni Maria per month. Uh, feel free to pause the video and calculate. So 25,000 plus, okay, ilan ito? 3,750 Okay, 25,000 plus 3,750, 25K plus 3,750, uh, you will have 28,750. Yan po yung monthly pay ni Maria when Maria is awarded what you call your longevity pay. Okay, nakuha po. How about Jan, a dedicated public health worker, was unjustly dismissed from his position. Okay, he was earning a monthly salary of 30k okay 30000 pesos and his compensation was withheld for 6 months before he was reinstated to calculate the total back wages and interest that Chan is entitled uh, to be based on the 12% of interest rate according to the bank card of Philippine health workers so, okay ang unang-una nating gagawin is kunin natin yung basic pay 
ni John. Okay, basic pay ni John is 30,000 pesos. Okay, now, uh, bilangin po natin kung ilang months na withheld yung base and yung, yung sweldo niya. Okay, so months withheld, okay, is six months. Okay. Now, according to the security of tenure, uh, uh, kailangan pong i-award si John ang tinatawag natin back wages plus interest rate nga 20 at uh, 12%. Okay, so ano yung ibig Since walang will do si John for six months, kawawang John, di ba? Okay, calculate po natin ang total amount na nawala kang John within six months. Okay, so pa paano natin i-calculate? 30K, 30,000 multiplied by 6. Okay, the total would be, 11. okay, ang total would be 180,000 po. Okay, 180,000 pesos. Okay, yan yung total na it would help as well do ni John. Now, another thing that the, the Magna Carta, according to the security of tenure, na uh, stipulates sa law, is that uh, kailangan pa din nating awardan si John ng 12% of interest. So, ano? So, anong ibig sabihin yan? Okay, kunin natin yung 180,000 multiplied by 0.12, okay, or 12%. Okay, so that is 21,600. Okay, so this is the interest that Jan will have. So, now, calculate the total amount that Jan will have as a compensation for being unjustly withheld or unjustly removed from work. The total amount, total amount that Chan will have is 180K plus yung interest niya, okay? Plus the interest. So, interest niya is 21,600, okay? So, the total would, total amount would be 200. 201,600 pesos po yung total amount na awarded ka dyan. So, ang laki-laki di ba compared to the longevity pay? Bakit po? Because this is a legal process, okay? Pukuha po yung uh, pinatawag nating ano, security of tenure uh, right after ng isang malaking kasuhan or napakataas na kasuhan. Kaya po, usually, kapag may nanalo, mananalo yung uh, employee, malaki talaga yung makukuha niya, 